Hi everyone, uh, my name is Omar Torres, I'm director of food and beverage and executive chef here at the Hilton Pensacola Beach. Uh, today we're going to show you one of our uh, signature dishes here in Bonsai, our new restaurant up on the second floor. Uh, Bonsai is a Japanese style, we're American influenced restaurant where we show some of the best um, quality fish that you can find around. Um, here we meet one of our sushi chefs right here, um, Roel Javier, he's going to help us out. Uh, prepare this beautiful dish. Today we'll be doing the smoked tuna roll, uh, pretty much everyone's favorite right now, along with another um, appetizer that will be the uh, tuna matsusaki. So two versions of the tuna, the number one tuna yellow fin, the, the best tuna out there for sushi break. So we're gonna start by having uh, Chef Roel here. He's gonna start slicing um, some of this beautiful tuna that we get nice and fresh. Um, we're gonna slice some for uh, for our tuna matsusaki. Uh, matsusaki is our type of shoyu marinade that we're doing here uh, on the property, and we also add a little bit of uh, uh, cherry blossom shoyu uh, to this. First up is you know the dice dice of tuna, probably about a quarter inch. For this tuna, we we'll like to uh, use a couple drops of, uh, this is a four year and four years age uh, soy sauce with a little splash of dashi in it. So we'll do some little drizzles of that. Um, we use our matsusaki shoyu that is being uh, aged in a bottle uh, to avoid the, the sunlight. Uh, it preserves all the flavors in there. And then we put a little bit of cherry blossom shoyu um, just to get some of that essence. There you go. And some fresh uh, sea salt. While I'm doing the tuna matsusaki, what Chef Ruel here is doing, he's gonna start preparing the smoked tuna roll. Uh, we do this with a um, with hickory smoke. Um, so, meanwhile, on the appetizer, I'm gonna go ahead and place the tuna here. Uh, we, I use a raw uh, ring mold. To make sure the tuna is right in place. Press down the tuna. So what uh, what Chef uh, Royal is doing here? He took some of the uh, tuna that we uh, cured in marinade with some aged uh, soy sauce and use it and roll it up. A um, little bit of cucumber and avocado. So now, um, once we get to this point, we're gonna press down a little bit here uh, to make some space. Uh, this tuna, uh, in order to make it nice and buttery and make it better for you um, and add more of the flavor, we use a quail leg. So, and to bring some saltiness, we're also going to use a Kaluga caviar with it. So, um, the quail egg, we're just going to place the quail egg right in the middle of the, the beautiful um, tuna right there. So we put the quail egg right in there in the middle. We finish it up now with some of the Kaluga caviar. And then we'll start the decoration. So Roel took the, um, that beautiful tuna roll and wrap it all around with number one tuna. So in the inside it has a marinated tuna while on the outside it has just a plain raw tuna. For our tuna matsusaki, so we like to put the different items that come from uh, the Chef Garden up in Ohio. So we have um, this leaf right here. This is a mustard green in a micro flavor. Use some fennel. Fennel 
does a great job, uh, adds a little bit of uh, flavor to it. Um, and then we're gonna put some of our micro uh, radishes. these vegetables, we uh, we bring them from the Chef Garden up in Ohio, probably one of the best farms in the world. We love uh, working with those guys up there. Um, so we put a few different types of uh, radish. Uh, we're gonna add some uh, blueberry viola and uh, honey cranberry viola flower for decoration as well, as well as the nasturtium leaves. It just adds a little more of flavor and, uh, to the dish. You know, me leave. And a micro chive. Once you get all these uh, flavors, mix it all together, break down that beautiful uh, quail egg into, into the dish, it just becomes a beautiful pottery uh, dish. That one right there. So that's our first appetizer. Uh, and then now, we're gonna proceed um, to do our smoked tuna roll. So for this tuna roll, we like to create a little salad in the middle, so we'll use a little bit of fennel, some of the micro mint, uh, and a little bit of uh, baby my, uh, bok choy, all from Chef Garden of in Ohio. Then we're gonna add as well some arugula uh, bloom. Arugula brings a lot of pepper flavor to it. So you have a lot of smoke uh, in, in this beautiful dish, right? So pepper, um, black pepper, and um, mustard goes very well with anything that you smoke, right? So we'll use it as uh, uh, some of the leaves here, right? And then, in this case, we'll just add a little bit of the uh, four-year-aged uh, soy sauce. Mix it up. It's a beautiful salad that goes in the middle. Then, after that. then what we like to do here at the, on one side is that every sushi roll um, it's well elaborated, so you don't just get a simple roll, uh, just the fish there and rice. We'll do something to it. Um, in this case, um, we use hackleback caviar, light hackleback, it gives a great saltiness to the dish. Um, it brings up a lot of those flavors from the tuna. Um, we did a little bit of tare marinade, this is our tare marinade. At home you can do it by just using you know, soy sauce, uh, a little bit of uh, black garlic essence, um, and some uh, uh, sesame. And this one we have our, our special recipe here for uh, at bonsai, um, that we encourage you to come over and enjoy this. So we're gonna do an orange viola on this one. And a few um, red ribbon sorrel. Sorrel, this beautiful red ribbon sorrel has a flavor of like, uh, very similar to like apples, to like Greenwich mint apples. So at this point, um, we use a smoke gun. Um, the wood chips in there. And this is a very nice dish. So the presentation is amazing. Not only that, the flavor that comes from this dish. Uh, you're getting the best quality tuna along with some beautiful caviar and a nice salad in the inside that has mustard blooms, uh, mustard blooms. Um, Arugula blooms, uh, so it gives a lot of flavor to it. Quite smoky, it doesn't bother, right? It's a cold smoke. Um, and we'll leave it here for about 20 seconds, right, before uh, before serve it to, to our guests. Um, and then once we bring it up, we'll just open it up fully. And 
enjoy your beautiful dish.